Yo, what's poppin' gamers? It's Gavin here, and in this video we're gonna be talking about whether the PP system for touchscreen players is fair, and how to go about fixing it if it's not. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now at this point, it's pretty much undeniable that the touchscreen PP system that was implemented for it is not necessarily ideal. However you feel about it, most people have, you know, agreed that it's not the greatest it can be. But, was this change really warranted? Now, you know, Freedom Divers play on high tie, uh, which was the first 900 PP play at the time, I believe. It, it was an insane score that was only really possible with touchscreen. So, that begs the question, should they really have been nerfed or should they have been left that as this? Now, if you ask me, I don't think it should have been nerfed. But I think there is a totally different solution that could have made this so much better. Now when you think about OC, you imagine a cursor being dragged across the screen, generally, and someone tapping on their keyboard, whether it's with a mouse or a tablet and the cursor is dragging from side to side. But the thing with the touch screen is that, you know, with your mouse or tablet, you have to spend time moving from each note. And on touch screen, that is totally eliminated. And also, with mouse and tablet, you're playing with one cursor, but with Touchscreen, you're theoretically playing with 10, realistically playing with two cursors. Which is a huge advantage because you take out the time spent moving from different notes. Like, it, it, it's totally just void. Now, by no means is it easy. It's just that you can't really compare a game that is in, in, in its core fundamentally 100% different when, you know, in general, the game is played with one cursor, but touchscreen plays with two. You can't really compare them or compete against them. If you ask me, the PP system that was implemented for touchscreen players is kind of stupid. Uh, so basically, that, that by implementing the PP system for the touchscreen players, it essentially makes them compete with players who play a basically totally different game, which is unfair. If you ask me, Honestly, I'm probably not the first person to come up with this idea, but there really should be two separate leaderboards. Well, they may want to compete with some of the bigger players, there could be something that could be done, have one for combined and then one for um, touchscreen and non-touchscreen, but regardless, they should have their own leaderboard. Because this game is so vastly different when comparing touchscreen and non-touchscreen players. That you can't compare them. One has its, you know, pros, and e each has its pros and cons, and it's, you know, the pros and cons are, like, totally the opposite on touchscreen compared to non-touchscreen. That is just so hard to compare the two that I don't think we will ever reach a system that will truly show the skill of touchscreen players. Because they're just so fundamentally different that I think it's necessary to have different leaderboards for each. I know this is a quick video, but I really wanted to speak my mind because I feel like touchscreen players are being treated unfairly by the PP system, and I really think there needs to be change. This is a very community-based game, and I feel like if we really want something to get done and people like this idea, or if anybody likes any idea, you know, we can make it happen if we put our minds to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please be sure to join my Discord and follow me on Twitter. Let me know if there's any video ideas you guys have. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.